In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 tips so that you can live the semen retention lifestyle with ease. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Nikula Daz and I am the general of the semen retention army and sex guru for the modern man. Semen retention will absolutely transform your life, but only if you can actually do it. If you can only go a few days or a week and then you blow your load, you're never going to get the benefits. So let me give you 10 tips that you can implement right now into your life so you can practice semen retention for 30, 60, 90 days and beyond and watch your life transform. Let's get into it. Tip number one, eliminate the belief that you're denying yourself. Too many guys struggle with semen retention or no fat because they feel like they're denying themselves. I've got to deny myself this pleasure. It ain't about denial. It's about gain. If you really want to excel in this lifestyle and gain both the short-term and long-term benefits, you have to realize you're not giving anything up. You're gaining a tremendous amount of inner power, strength, and energy. I don't look at semen retention as a sacrifice. I look at semen retention as a powerful gain. When you switch your belief from denial to I'm gaining by doing this, then you're going to stay motivated and it's going to be a lot easier for you to stay away from busting a nut. Tip number two, eliminate the idea of flatline. When I hear these guys talking about I flatlined, all I'm hearing is I'm uneducated about the subject. Flatline doesn't exist in this. Energy is always expanding and growing. Flatline, what most guys call flatline is just simply your body getting used to having new amounts of energy in you. Think about if you go to the gym and you start lifting 50 pounds. Eventually, 50 pounds won't be difficult for you. Do you say that you flatlined or do you say I've conquered 50 pounds and now, I'm, and now it's ready to go up to 60 and 70 pounds? Well, similarly, the same thing happens with semen retention. The longer that you practice, your body's going to get used to it and you're not going to feel that rush that you feel. If you're going for that rush or that motivation that you know guys talk about, then you're still chasing a high and you haven't matured in your lifestyle practice. This isn't about a short-term solution. This is about changing and developing your inner world, alchemizing it into the man that you have envisioned yourself to become. This is a long-term game plan, and if you think that flatline is a real thing and you haven't recognized that your body is simply getting used to it and now you have to continuously push it and it's not going to be that big hype and that, no, because you, your body's going to get used to it. You're just going to get more energy. You're going to have more energy. Then it's going to be easier for you to continue to grow. And if you go, growth doesn't just happen like this. So you may feel that initial spark up and that's what a lot of guys get addicted to. And then they're like, oh, I'm flatlining. Then they ejaculate so that they can get another spike up. You're just creating another addictive pattern. Ultimately, what you want to do is just push through it and the high won't be there, but the subtle Energy will continue to grow, grow, expand, 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 and there's no limit to that. So eliminate the idea of flatline. Tip number three, get big goals. One of the biggest and easiest ways to get your vices under control or out of your life is to have bigger goals to work towards. Too many guys are, but I'm just going to be straight up with you. You're wasting your life watching porn all day, chasing girls all day, doing whatever the hell you're doing all day. If it ain't about your goals, if it ain't about building your empire, if it ain't about building your legacy, if it ain't about contributing to others and serving others, it's a waste of time and time is life. Remember, when you're wasting time, you're literally wasting your life. You can get money back. You can, you know, do all kinds of things. You can even get health back if you've messed up your health, but you never get time back. So stop wasting time. Get your three biggest goals, five-year goals in front of you. Look at them every day. Decide that's what you're about and get to work. And anytime the thoughts of porn or ejaculating unnecessarily, if it ain't real, don't do it. 
Anytime that comes into your mind, redirect your mind back to your goals and remember that you're going to use your sexual energy to fuel your goals and it's going to help you stay motivated in the lifestyle. Number four, eliminate caffeine or at least reduce it if you're a big coffee drinker. Caffeine is a stimulant and it is the most acceptable addiction in the world. Caffeine is making you reliant on a stimulant to get you going. And because you're relying on a stimulant, it's going to make it harder for you to practice semen retention because the more your nervous system is stimulated, the more you're going to want to ejaculate. The key to long-term semen retention is learning to operate in a more meditative, calm inner state, which means you have to have control over your inner world. Caffeine makes it harder for you to control your inner world. It makes it harder for you to stay away from vices and it puts stress on your body unnecessarily, which makes you want to relieve that stress through ejaculation. Eliminate caffeine and you'll notice that semen retention is a lot easier to do. Number five, don't tell anybody what you're doing. This was something that I've learned. There's tremendous power in keeping things a secret. If you tell everybody you're doing semen retention, then you're giving away your secret. Your secret is your inner control, but don't let everybody know. In fact, protect that secret. Let it be your own thing. The reason you want to protect that secret is because a lot of people don't understand semen retention. You may say, but Nikula, you're not keeping it a secret. That's true. Now I'm not, but I did for a while. Because I was still learning about it. I was still understanding it. If you go out and tell everybody you're doing semen retention and you don't know enough about it, you're going to get slaughtered by the ignorant haters who are going to be like, why would you want to do that? That's stupid. Well, they're ignorant. But unless you can articulate and explain it well, you're going to get slaughtered and your motivation is going to go down. You're going to think it might not work and you're going to allow doubt to settle into your mind. The other thing is that when you keep things to yourself and you just develop your plans, there's a greater enthusiasm and desire for it. Notice that if you want to dilute something, you talk about it. Like that's why when we tell people, oh, you're going through a problem, talk about it. You got a porn addiction, talk about it. You got a sex problem, talk about it. I talk to guys all about their sexual issues all day long and it helps them relieve that energy. But in this case, you want to build an energy. Don't talk about it. There's power in silence and there's power in just quietly executing your plans and accomplishing goals and then allowing people to recognize the results, not because you're yapping your mouth off about it, but because you're living it. Living something is way more attractive than talking about it and fronting about it. That just reveals you over time as a fake and as a phony. And people get really turned off by that. People are very much attracted to things that are real. So when you act on your goals, when you make plans and execute those plans and you get results, your results will speak louder than any words you can possibly say. So keep it to yourself. Make it your secret weapon. Number six, quality rest. Don't underestimate the power of rest. Now, with semen retention specifically, you're going to reduce your sleep because you're going to be more sexually aroused. And because you're like me, I wake up four or five this morning. I generally wake up anywhere between five o'clock, four thirty, five o'clock, ready to take on the day. Why? Because I got a lot of sexual energy running through me. I'm not wasting it. I'm not ejaculating often. And therefore, I'm vibrant. I'm healthy. And I don't need as much sleep as most people. Because I don't need as much sleep as most people, I can also get more done than most people. And because of that, it puts me in a great position in life. This doesn't mean I don't need rest. Rest doesn't necessarily mean sleep. But I've learned over time that I have to chill out. I also have to learn to let it go. Let the tasks of the day go. Let the results go and give that to God. I do everything I can in my power for that day. And if it's outside of my power, then it's outside of my power. This allows me more mindful rest. It allows me to chill out more. 
The more that you can chill out and be relaxed, the easier your semen retention journey will be and the easier it'll allow your body to transmute and use that energy in different ways. But if you're always stressed and you're not getting good rest and your sleep's all messed up and you're just overstimulating yourself in so many different ways, it's going to be harder and harder to practice because your nervous system is going to be too agitated. Your mind is going to be too agitated. Your insecurities are going to be heightened. And therefore, you can't be powerful to attract uh, sex or attract money or healthy relationships or get your workouts in or even attract God. Because to attract God, the hardest thing to attract is God. God is everywhere. But trust me, to get his attention personally is not an easy feat. You have to be extremely focused and therefore you have to be relaxed. When people think of focus, they often think of in, like, oh, 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 I got to get all tense. That's the opposite of focus. That's fear. If you're having all kinds of sporadic thoughts, you're in a state of fear. When your thoughts are aligned, you know where you're going, you know what you're doing, you know who you are, then you're more relaxed. You're more in control. When you're in more control, you're more attractive and semen retention is an easier lifestyle. Number seven, physical activity. You got to put that energy somewhere and there's no better way than getting into uh, some kind of physical activity. Uh, whether you're a gym guy, a yoga guy, a, a going for long runs or walks guy, a climbing mountains, playing sports, I don't care what it is. Pick something that works for you. Some guys don't like to go to the gym and lift. I'm not a huge gym guy myself. Right? Some guys are gym guys. Some guys like yoga. Some guys like whatever. I don't really care. Find some physical activity in where you can uh, burn off that excess energy. You can put yourself, you can use that energy in a physical expression, which is going to keep you physically healthy. And when you're physically healthy, you're mentally healthy. And when you're mentally healthy, you can then understand higher spiritual you can have higher spiritual realizations and your mind becomes sharper to understand uh, uh, more subtle concepts and more complex concepts, which allows you to be more intelligent and effective in this world. Physical, physical, physical activity is a must. Some of the best physical activity you can have, by the way, is non-ejaculatory sex. Uh, as men, non-ejaculatory sex stimulates and turns all your hormones on and balances you, but because you don't deplete the energy and it stays and circulates in you, all of that electromagnetic um, energy that you've created, all that tingling that you feel in the body, that stays with you. And so if you could continuously have non-ejaculatory sex, my gosh, the aura that you create is unbelievable. Number eight, regulate social media. Now, social media for me is part of life. I use it to build my business, reach guys, connect. Um, I like it socially. I like social media. I'm not like, uh, social media is bad. But social media is, it's all it, just like anything else, money, sex, everything. It's not, nothing is good or bad in itself. It's about your consciousness. It's about how you use it. So if you're using social, if social media is using you and you find yourself scrolling for hours, and you can't let it go, that means you're wiring your brain for instant gratification. You're also wiring your brain not to pursue higher pleasures like actual sex. And therefore, you're getting all your pleasure from this stimulated world. This disconnects you. It keeps you in a digital world instead of the real world. And it's, it messes around with your dopamine receptors and your ultimately your hormones. By regulating social media and using it consciously, you're giving yourself a tool to connect with people that are like-minded, to get information that's relative. So the way I use my social media is that I set times aside where I'm like, okay, next half an hour, I'm on social media and I'm answering messages or participating in conversations or doing whatever I'm doing. I use a program to schedule my posts out. So if you're a content creator, don't go on each platform. Use a, a, a program like Hootsuite or Loomly. I use Loomly to schedule my content out so I'm not always on it creating content. I create my content, I schedule it out. Then I go on social media, I look at uh, my posts, I answer comments, I answer messages that I receive, I connect with guys in that way. 
And then I may spend a little time, you know, consuming some of the content creators that are beneficial for me. So I pick people that I follow. I follow them for some time. I consume their content. And then when I'm ready to move on, I pick someone else and then I consume their content and, and see what they're all about. Be intentional curate your world. You become like the people you listen to the most. So if you're listening to a bunch of complainers, negative Nancys, if you're getting sucked into all kinds of drama on social media, then you're wasting your time and you're not curating your mind. You're not being mindful of your activities and that is going to be in your detriment. Social media will stimulate you in so many ways that you find it harder and harder to retain your semen. So regulate your social media. Number nine, get educated about semen retention. Don't just know a topic on a surface level. If you know the topic on a surface level, then you're only going to have surface thoughts about it, which isn't going to be good enough to sustain it as a long time uh, a, a practice or a lifestyle. For this lifestyle to work, the more educated you are about the topic, then the more educated thought processes you have about it. When you go to ejaculate right away, you're going to think, well, I'm going to deplete all my best proteins, enzymes, nutrients. I'm going to de de stifle my own testosterone growth. I know I'm not going to be as energized or motivated or hungry for success because that is my hunger that I'm depleting. Um, you're going to have all kinds of thought processes about the longevity of life or your aura. All of that is going to stop you or put accountability layers for unnecessarily ejaculating. So get educated. Want to get educated? Go to the next video. There's tons of videos on my channel giving you everywhere from the scientific biological perspectives all the way to the spiritual perspectives and how to execute semen retention lifestyle. And tip number 10 Never give up. Stop complaining about relapsing. Yes, you will probably ejaculate again. Stop going from zero to hero. This is something I've had to do in my own life. I'm like, I'm so extreme on things, you know, that it's like you can't find balance. Stop taking the extreme approaches. I'm not saying never ejaculate again. I'm saying regulate your ejaculation. Bring it under control. Master yourself. This is not about giving something up. This is about gaining. You don't go to the gym thinking, I'm gaining, I'm giving up my weak body. That's how most people go to the gym. I'm giving up my, my comfort. I'm giving up my weak body. I'm giving up my comfort so I can't work out. Yeah, that's why they have no motivation. Don't think about it as giving it up. What are you gaining? You go to the gym to gain. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting fitter. I'm getting sexier. Are you more motivated by what you're losing or by what you're gaining? If you're motivated, if your motivation and thought process is about what you're losing or the risks you're taking, you will live a small, unfulfilled life. You won't even tap a percentage of your potential. But if you switch your thinking to... I'm thinking long-term, I'm gaining strength, and I'm developing this as a long-term lifestyle that's sustainable, then you won't be upset when you ejaculate. In fact, you'll do what I call conscious ejaculation, meaning when you want to ejaculate, you'll ejaculate, and when you don't, you won't. Now you have power over your decisions. Now you have power over your body and mind, and now you have power over your life. So look, Leave in the comments below what are the tips that you're going to use right away. If you've got your own tips, also leave them in the comments below. Make sure you go take the free ejaculation control, guys. Subscribe, notify. You know what to do. And if you want to get a hold of me, maybe you want to take it to the next level. You want to work with me inside the Semen Retention Army or the Powerhouse Man Training Program, then send me a message. Go to my website. Connect with me. I love to connect with new people and to chat. And if I can be of service to you, I will be. All right, I look forward to connecting with you, and I'll see you on the next video.